phishing. Most of us have heard it. Just don't click on anything suspicious. What's the big deal, right? Wrong. Anyone can fall for it, and anyone means anyone. While running for President of the United States, Hillary Clinton's campaign made national headlines when her email was hacked when her campaign chairman, John Podesta, fell for a fake Gmail message asking him to update his password. Yep, it can happen to anyone. In fact, phishing is easily the most successful method for acquiring confidential information on the internet, accounting for 90% of successful security breach attacks. Cybercriminals use phishing emails, disguised as trustworthy communications, to try and gain sensitive personal information such as passwords, social security numbers, and credit card details. The information is generally used for malicious reasons such as stealing money, identity theft, and blackmail. The emails are used as bait to entice people to click on a link or input security-sensitive information. An example would be an email that looks like it's from your bank informing you that someone has attempted to withdraw some money from your account and, if it's not you, which it's not, you should click on the link below to verify your information and get this problem resolved. And with just a simple click of the mouse, you've just installed some malicious software on your computer and all of your personal information is being extracted from your computer. Here's another example of a basic phishing email. It looks like Facebook has emailed you to let you know about a problem with your account, and if you don't click on this link and download a form, your account will be blocked. Better get on it! But wait, let's take a closer look. The logo seems official, but that's a classic phishing ploy to use a well-known company. This fake email could just as easily have come from another popular company such as Apple or Amazon. Now notice the deadly combo. The uses of an embedded link followed by the threat of something bad if you don't click on it. If you hover your mouse over the link, you will reveal the real web address, and if it's different from the actual company's real address, then you do not want to click on it. Finally, notice the spelling errors and bad grammar. These are also indicators that this is a fake email, as cybercriminals generally do not employ a staff of copy editors that you would likely find at the real Facebook.